I could just see that there was something in her um, that I just didn't have. So I came to basic training here at Fort Leonard Wood uh, about 24 years ago. And I grew up Baptist and I grew up in the Baptist church. Uh, when I came here to Fort Leonard Wood, uh, I went to every service that was offered to the trainees uh, on post. And I went to every single one of them, but one. And the only service that I did not go to when I was in basic training was the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints service. And I think there were many reasons for that. Um, growing up as a Baptist um, in Arkansas, you know, I was just kind of, to be honest, really taught to really despise the LDS Church. I remember, I remember the door being slammed on missionaries when they come, they came to our house. Um, and there were a few times after that when, when I personally. Uh, before I became a member, uh, I had some altercations with some missionaries just because I had that hate in my heart uh, for the church. So I met my wife, uh, Heather, when I was stationed at Fort Durham, New York. Um, and then over, I think it was like the second or third date that we went on, we started, you know, talking about religion. And I found out that she was a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I could actually see what the church was doing in her life. Um, I could just see that there was something in her um, that I just didn't have. Um, one Sunday morning, I woke up and I just decided that I wanted to go with her just to see what it was like. I had never stepped foot in uh, the church building before. Um, and it just so happened the very first Sunday that I went was Fast and Testimony Sunday. Um, and I had felt, I had felt the spirit like I had never felt it in my life. There was just something about that Sunday, so I just decided that I wanted to learn more, uh, and I had the missionaries over. And I had, I was thinking I was up to the third discussion with the missionaries, and my wife, I remember she was in the kitchen. Uh, one of the missionaries at the time asked me, um, so do you think you would want to get baptized? And I answered yes. It has, it's made such a huge difference in my life, um, the gospel has. And I, I think about it now, and one thing that ensures me, besides having prayed about it and knowing for myself that it's true, which I encourage anybody to do that is curious about the church, you, you need to read the Book of Mormon and pray about it, and ask Heavenly Father that you'll know for yourself that it's true. Um, that is the only true way that I, I believe you you will know that the gospel is true. I'm so thankful uh, for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, it's brought a lot of peace in my life. Um, and I'm thankful for the fullness of the gospel. I really am. And I would encourage everybody um, that might watch this video um, to read the Book of Mormon. And I'll tell you, if you read it, you'll realize that it, it is meant for us in this day. It just is. So if you grew up with any stereotype at all about the church, or like myself, you, you grew up and were pretty much taught to, to hate the church, um, I would tell you again, read it for yourself do your own research you're going to know heavenly father if you pray sincerely your heavenly father will will let you know that it's true um, but that's the thing you have to you have to want to know uh, if it's true or not find out for yourself don't listen to what anyone else has said about the church because satan is very good at wanting to keep people away from heavenly father's uh, gospel you know, I've experienced a lot of things that I had never experienced being a member of any other church. You know, I've actually, I've seen miracles. It has brought me a lot of peace and happiness. I'm not saying that we're not gonna struggle because that's why we're here. We have to experience different things and, and I think it's how we deal with them um, that make us a better person.